Hi, my name is Julia Boller and I'm a PhD student at the Chair of Structural Design at ETH Zurich. Today I will show you a proposal for the structural preservation of the Basento Bridge in Potenza in Italy, originally designed by the Italian engineer Sergio Musmeci and regarded as one of the most relevant examples of 20th century reinforced concrete infrastructures in Italy. The proposal that I will present today has been developed by Pierluigi D'Acunto from TU Munich, Aurelio Muttoni from APF Lausanne, Josef Schwarz, Lucas Singold and myself from ETH Zurich. We were part of the team that received the highest score in the provisional ranking of the technical jury at the international competition in two phases organized by the municipality of Potenza for the preservation of Musmeci's Basento Bridge, which took place in 2020. Currently, a large number of European bridges built during the infrastructural development in the aftermath of the Second World War are now reaching their nominal design life. After the collapse of Morandi's Polcevera Viaduct in Genova in 2018, particular attention is paid to the existing reinforced concrete bridges in order to find strategies for their adequate preservation. As an emblematic example of the approach towards structural design in the post-war period in Italy, the Basento Bridge was listed as a cultural monument in 2003, the first one of its kind in Italy. Therefore, its preservation is of great importance in the context of the history of Italian civil engineering and architecture. For this reason, in 2020, the municipality of Potenza, supported by the Italian National Boards of Engineers and Architects, launched an international competition for the preservation of the bridge. The design is composed of two separate parts, a double court shell and a hollow deck supported by the shell. The understanding of the design, as well as the construction process of Musmeci's extraordinary structure, represents the most important source for defining the most appropriate preservation strategy for the bridge. The design of the lower part of the bridge, the concrete shell, materializes Musmeci's innovative structural theory based on the structural minimum, as an attempt to explicitly visualize the relation between form and forces in the structure. Throughout the design development of the Basento Bridge, Musmeci generated several physical models at different scales and using different materials. The construction process of the bridge relied on craftsmanship skills inherent to the Italian building culture of that time. The traces of small timber planks used to approximate the double curvature of the shell are still visible in large portions of the shell concrete surface. While the shell required different non-standard construction procedures on site, the more standard hollow deck could be manufactured using conventional construction techniques available at that time. The degradation of the concrete surface due to carbonation is one of the most problematic aspects affecting the bridge. This phenomenon is extensively visible on both the bottom surface of the deck and on the extra dose of the shell. As a consequence, corrosion of the exposed sea reinforcement is produced. Site survives estimated that 10% of the entire reinforcement of the hollow deck is corroded. Musmeci's design choice to use Gerber beams for the deck of the Basento Bridge allows flexibility under imposed deformations and avoids excessive stresses in the elements of sections. At the same time, it requires the periodical control of the joint's condition and important maintenance work to guarantee the durability of the bridge. Site surveys highlighted the presence of water within the hollow deck, especially at the level of the Gerber joints. Because of the interaction between concrete water and the frosting salt percolating from the road surface, the cortical thickness of the exposed concrete is highly reduced in many parts of the structure. With the aim of preserving Musmeci's original concept for the Basento Bridge while restoring its expressiveness, the proposed strategy for the structural preservation of the bridge is rather conservative a minimal intervention that respects the character of the original design and pays tribute to the bridge as one of the most outstanding and emblematic works in the scene of architecture and engineering of the post-war period in Italy. In line with this approach and in compliance with Musmeci's thought on heritage conservation, the overall structural behavior of the bridge is maintained as it was originally designed. The material approach is to act locally on the degraded concrete surfaces to minimize the intervention to what is strictly necessary. The choice of materials and application methods will be compatible with the original concrete mix and construction techniques. On the basis of first initial surveys, the reinforced concrete shell of the bridge shows only local damage. In fact, the bridge deck represents the most problematic element from a structural point of view. Indeed, it has a number of critical parts that require major repair work, such as the Gerber beams and the edges of the reinforced concrete slab. 
rainwater runoff, reduced concrete cover and insufficient maintenance led to these severe local structural problems, especially on the concrete hollow deck. The approach looks back at Musmech's original drawings and tries to restore the visual strength of the initial design solution. In this way, the small recess of the outer side edges of the deck will become the key aspect of the bridge exterior profile. The proposed intervention considers the partial replacement of the deck edges with new concrete edges. It will also offer the possibility to introduce a new rainwater drainage system, a new safety barrier in compliance with the current regulations, as well as new lighting fixtures for the road. The proposal will allow maintaining almost completely the existing concrete surface of the lower part of the deck. The new edges will be made with a cement mixture similar to the original one, but with higher density to ensure good durability even under the action of the frosting salts on the bridge. The Gerber beams will be removed sequentially from the bridge and repaired by renewing the damaged concrete surfaces and installing additional stainless steel reinforcement bars. The fixed support elements at the Gerber joints will be also reinforced with additional stainless steel reinforcement bars. For safety reasons, the Gerber joints will be equipped with a stainless steel water drainage channel to prevent any uncontrolled percolation of water and the frosting salve inside the Gerber joints. The future preservation of the bridge will include a series of inspections and interventions scheduled at regular intervals, depending on the level of maintenance required. In this way, the proposal highlights the need for a minimal intervention that respects the original design by Musmechi while keeping its infrastructural function as a link between the highway and the city of Potenza. As stated by Musmechi, the bridge represents one of the most significant design themes because of the static and constructive engagement that it proposes. It is a structural theme practically in its purest form and as such capable of stimulating a continuous search for new solutions also in terms of formal expressiveness. Thanks a lot for your attention.